So many of us have found ourselves a little stumped on how to put an, uh, put an actual check mark within a checkbox in DocuSign, because um, it's not simply just click in the box and check it. So I'm gonna show you how to fill in that stubborn checkbox. Um, once you have a document in your room, I'm just in a, a standard room, I, I find myself using a lot to sign DAs, but for the purpose of this video, I've added in a counter offer. Um, I'm gonna go in and get it um, set up in the envelope tab so that we would follow the same steps we would if we were prepping this for a client. So I'm going to add the person that needs to be on this, click next, uh, just so we can get to the page with all of those fields that we add to a document. And then as you'll uh, remember, there is the checkbox option on the left. You click it once and then you drag it where it needs to go. And many of us have tried to click in it. Like I just tried to click in it and nothing appears. There are actually two ways that you can check this box. The first is by looking over on the right hand side, your men menu options here, click on checkbox values and click the checkbox. Uh, yes, I agree with many of you that this seems a little, um, <laughs> a few more steps than, than there should be to put in a check mark, check mark into a box. Um, however, I did find in a training yesterday a second way to fill in a check box. So I'm going to unselect this and click back in here. But this time, instead of just clicking on it, I'm going to double click. That's it. You double click in the check box and the check mark displays. Let's all admit together, we are not as bright as we thought we were. Um, that's all it took, a double click instead of a single click. Or of course, you can do the check, bo check box values over here on the right. Um, so just a quick little tip for you guys um, so that we can slowly but surely begin to become masters of DocuSign. So hope this helped.